So we're here in uh, a site uh, just a few kilometers southeast of the Tyrrell Museum. Uh, we're at a uh, site with an, someone found an Ornithomima dinosaur, an ostrich mimic dinosaur, about five years ago. And we finally get to come back and finish doing it. Um, we've got Mark Mitchell here, a longtime museum technician. And we've also got uh, Chris Capobianco here. He's also a museum technician. He's a bit more recent. Under here we've got part of the ilium, uh, the part of the hip, hip bone. We've got here a long rib and Chris is working on probably part of a lower leg bone. So we're in an ornithomimid quarry here. We're finding a lot of uh, isolated, isolated, disarticulated material. So here we have a piece of bone um, stretched from about here to here and it looks like it's still going. And it's very close in color to the rock. It's uh, quite difficult to tell the difference at some points. And it's very dark in the inside if, if you look inside a piece. This sort of preservation with the thing broken up is quite typical for the Horseshoe Canyon formation. Um, there's lots of bone here, but we complete skeletons are actually quite rare. And also the landscape here is extremely steep and there's a lot of erosion. And you can see right here a channel has cut down through the skeleton. Who knows how much bone was washed away here. <laughs> You're too noisy, Mark. <laughs> bag of chips. <laughs> so Mark is um, putting a little plaster bandages, we call them gypsonas, onto this rib that he's exposed. Um, so it obviously doesn't look too much like a rib because it's all lumpy because Mark's had to leave an awful lot of rock around it. Um, because if the rock is so fractured and then the bone is so fractured as well, that we'd probably lose everything. It would just collapse into a thousand pieces. So we've kept just enough rock to hold it together. And uh, he's building up these layers of these little plaster bandages. And later on, once the plaster is set, he's going to start chipping the rock away underneath. But we will also make a map of this site. So before we remove any pieces, uh, we'll have a map to show how they were arranged in the ground before everything was removed.